And we live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are live and we have today Katie Kendall, my mompreneur today. And um, she she's awesome. You know, I said, you know, I need to uh, interview her because as a mom, you know, I see a lot of moms out there that actually are making it online. So I'm just getting my good, good people out there and give it to you so you can listen what they have to say to be mompreneur, entrepreneur at the same time and making it online. So she, she teaches how to discover your purpose and develop unique talent. And she's an internet marketer, entrepreneur of, at Katie Kendall, born to succeed and passionate about marketing and make a difference. I'm gonna share this information so we can have it uh, so that people can see it and then we're gonna start. Make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Let me share this information here. And I'm going to to tag you, uh, Katie, so you can send it to your people as well. All right. Awesome. How is uh, the weather over there? Here it's very hot. I don't know if because of the lighting, but it's so hot in here. Oh, it's my goodness. Nice. Let me see. Here, it's nice here. It's sunny and warm. <laughs> Yeah, here it's getting warmer too. Yesterday I went in the mountain, but it was already almost melted. Uh -huh. But I enjoy a lot with the kids. Well, with one kid, <laughs> I <have> two. <laughs> All right, I think I share it. And let me see, I need to tag you here. Thank uh -huh. you. Forgot to tag you. Katie. Hmm, we will find you here. What's going on? Is it on Facebook? Is it on Facebook? Yeah, I found you. Okay, you. There you go. There's two people watching already. Hi, everybody. If you're watching and, and dialing, say hi. We're going to see the, the comments on the right side. All right. So, all right, Katie. Uh, Introduce yourself and um, tell us about uh, who you are, you know, where do you live, and and I already told you what you do, but tell us more about how is your life in a daily basis as, as a mom and I'm an entrepreneur. All right. Um, well, I started, uh, first of all, I wanted to say hi, guys. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited to be on here. And I uh, want to, even if I inspire just one of you guys, it'll be definitely worth, you know, your time and my time and Jamie's time to be here. So I'm excited to be here with you guys and I'm looking forward to sharing a lot of value with you guys here today. So first of all, you know, um, as Jamie said, um, I'm going to go ahead and share my story a little bit with you. Um, I started out online for like uh, over five, I've been online over five years already. And when I um, was just, I actually started thinking about like, that I should do something else for, uh, than dental assistant, uh, which I was before I started online. I was a dental assistant. Wow. Um, yeah, it was se about seven years ago is when I started thinking, or actually eight years ago or more. <laughs> um, but that's um, <laughs> the thing that made me start thinking about it um, is when I found out that, uh, you know, we, we found out we we're going to have um, our first child and I was like, you know, there's no way I'm going to leave my child um, to somebody else to take care of her and, um, you know, just leave her and go to work. Like, I, I just made a decision. There is no way I'm going to do this. Like, I will do whatever it takes to be able to stay with my baby and be able to um, spend time with her and not miss any of, the, of her milestones and just, you know, be there for her. Um, so I started out uh, looking, you know, for different opportunities. I got into the network marketing. Um, and then um, a couple of years later, I got into uh, internet marketing. And when I was introduced to internet marketing, um, I, I just fell in love with it, with the whole like internet marketing game. 
And obviously, you know, for uh, my first two months, I did not make any sales at all. And, you know, I've been working hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just working hard and didn't make any sales at all for my first two months or two and a half, somewhere around two months. So um, then when my first sale came through and it was just so unexpected, um, it was just uh, on autopilot. It wasn't like me signing somebody up or anything online. It was completely on autopilot and I was just um, so excited to see that first sale. And from then on, it's just been a fun journey you know obviously i had my ups and downs like there have been days even weeks without any sales going through um but i just feel so grateful that i've been through the journey that i have been through because it made me the person i am today and the person that um you know i'm growing every single day i'm growing and you know since i'm growing my business is growing as well so um, obviously, right now, like I don't have any problems of getting online sales or any of that. <laughs> so I'm just scaling. I'm just growing my business and scaling and providing value and teacher teaching others to um, you know how to do the same. Yeah. Cool. So, what is the? Do you struggle at? Um, in, in any any moment when you were online and with the kids at the same time at home, mm -hmm. how do you find the balance? Yeah, um, it's actually not too easy to find <laughs> the time uh, to work on your business. Obviously, you know, if you're a mom, you obviously know that it's not easy to try to carve out some time to build your business. And um, the way I do it and the way that I, figure that, you know, it works for me um, is, you know, since my kids are homeschooled, um, what I usually do, you know, I only have time to work um, the time when pretty much they're sleeping. You know, if they're not sleeping, I might have like a few minutes like here and there during the day, um, but it's not that um, productive. Like I have noticed if I uh, if I'm going to try to like sit down and work during the day, um, I'm not being productive and my kids are not getting the attention that they need to get. And they just, you know, start fussing around because <laughs> they're not getting the attention. So I figured for me, the best way to do it is when they are asleep. So that's when I can like completely focus and I can just get so much more things done than if I would be working while they're like awake, running around, um, you know, around me. <laughs> so I do it so either when they uh, fall asleep or in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I've figured that for me, the best way to do it, since I have um, a toddler who usually, if I wake up like early in the morning, he wakes up as well. So <laughs> he usually doesn't like sleeping, I guess, w without me, like when I'm not asleep. So um, I figured for me the best way to do it is at night when they go to sleep and they have deep sleep and um, I just focus on my business and I get a lot of things done when, you know, like later at night. That's the way that yeah. works. That, that means that you, um, you normally in the day then with them and then after they go to sleep, you, you do some work in your business. But it was like that in the beginning as well. In the like, beginning, you, uh, through, you start the with like the first, then the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it, it was really hard. I remember like it was really tough, especially in the beginning because I had a, uh, well, I had my daughter was, you know, small, like under one year old or whatever when I started, or she was one probably yeah, when I started online. Um, but when I started network marketing, it, it was obviously like before that. So um, it was tough. Like it was really tough to find time to um, work. But I just put in, you know, as much time as I could uh, without mm -hmm. obviously like neglecting everything else. Because like I have to cook, I have to clean, like like all moms, you know, we have to do so much things. Yes. Um, so I yes. was just putting as much time as I can um, 
into building my business. And I really, like even now, I honestly do not know when people find time to watch TV or, or like doing I don't, I, I don't I don't know how people find time for that, but I personally like I'm not a TV watcher or whatever. We don't even have a TV. Um, but uh, just, you know, do make wise decisions. Like if you can build your business in that time where you're just sitting watching TV, like why do that? You know, work on your, uh, work for your future, you know, build your business rather than just spending the time behind the screen and just watching something that it's not gonna even matter to you in like tomorrow or in next week, you know? Yeah, so what matters. I figured that out when I started online marketing. I was like, why am I wasting my time? Even with Facebook, I, why I'm wasting my time just with the Facebook, just scrolling down. And then I figure how we can make money on Facebook. Why not? That's <laughs> right. I figured that out. When I, started. I was like, man, I'm just wasting so many years. <laughs> That's right. Nothing here. Facebook, just watching people's life instead of building my own. So yeah, I can relate to that. So what? how old are your kids? You have how many kids and how old are they? I have three kids. Uh, my oldest one is eight years old. Then I have, um, uh, he's gonna be six on March 1st. And uh, my youngest one is two years old and seven months. Wow, it's almost three, nice. That's good ages. I have like two, uh, one is almost 10. Tomorrow will be 10 months for him. And the other one is six years old. So it's, uh, it's pretty different wise, you know, but I'm always, always uh, with the baby, you know, and trying to yeah. manage the time. And yeah, like he's sleeping right now. If not, I will not be doing this, right? <laughs> like I had time to do one Facebook Live and then now another interview. And that's my time, the only one. Then I have to do the homework with my kids and nighttime. It's, I think always I'm being seeing that pattern, you know, with the baby are sleeping, we can work. That's the only time. Yeah. That's so, I see you said that, okay, you should be focusing more on your business instead of watching TV. That's another tip I get from you as well. And, um, and just, I think one of the, the things that the moms are just cannot get together is that they want to spend time with their kids, but they don't know how to do it. And when, when they have the business, because they want their business to grow fast. But what did you, what you can say about that? You know, I know I have, uh patient you know i don't get uh, too too crazy about i need to make it work right away i know it takes time i've been online marketing for nine months you've been a few years already so you can you can tell people what what is the secret you know you have to have patience like i'm saying right now do you think that is good or or do you have another tip for that yeah you gotta have patience that's for sure um, another big thing that I've noticed, you know, when I was starting out, um, and you know, compared to now is I used to do so many different activities in my business that were, that are not, you know, that were not bringing me any results. Like I was just keeping myself busy with it. And obviously, you know, maybe not giving enough attention to my kids. Like when I just started out, um, so a lot of times newbies when they start out they don't um they don't do the things that actually bring results and you just like mom, for us moms you know because we are so busy i'm pretty sure we most of us probably don't even have time to watch tv <laughs> so uh or TV. Cause, <laughs> yeah because we're busy with with kids and all of the other things but um just try to find uh Pretty much you need to focus on the three things. Like if you want to make money online, you need to focus, like have laser focus on just the things that actually bring results and just kind of ignore the things that will not bring you any results. So focus on, on you know, create, capture and convert. I like how uh, Chris Record, uh, you know, always talks about it. Um, create, capture and convert. So you, you gotta find a way or create a way to get traffic to your site, um, capture the lead um, with a landing page and uh, convert those leads. So master 
conversions. Master how you can convert that lead into a sale. You know, once they're on your list, you um, have to just provide a lot of value to them, build trust with them, and that way they will convert. You know, as the time goes on, um, people will, you know, it, it will start converting as you grow your list. Definitely. Yeah, I, I always said to my student that if you're not master conversions, you know, you will be online forever and <laughs> trying to figure it out and uh, and not just spamming over there, you know, just to to have a capture page instead of your just your link of your product. That's a good one as well. So you yeah. can leverage more. You yeah. can do more with your kids so you can spend more time with your kids. And when you are playing with them, you know, online is working for you because I imagine everybody wants here, every mom wants to use the laptop lifestyle, that's how we call it. Then when we are sleeping or we are working uh, or spending time with our kid, the internet is working for us. And that's leverage. That's, yeah. we, that's what we need in our life. Yeah, yeah. Just find a lot of ways how you can leverage that how you can actually, you know, leverage the traffic part, leverage um, your, you know, funnel and your time by creating the, you know, the landing page and to get that traffic to that landing page. And so you'll be able to build your list while you are not on your laptop. You can, you know, order traffic from, you know, there's so many ways to get traffic from, from Facebook, um, you know, by doing Facebook ads or by just, even simply by um, making a post on Facebook with your landing page link. Um, find, you know, if you don't have a lot of friends, you might say like, oh, I don't have a lot of followers. Who's gonna click that link? And who's gonna go and whatever opt-in. Um, there's always, like there should be no excuses because there's so many people on Facebook. You can just go to search, uh, find different groups that you wanna, who you wanna target. Like, let's say you wanna target in the internet marketers or network marketers. So find different groups of those people, you know, how they have groups there and just go inside the groups and start looking through those um, members of the group and add in exactly who you want to work with. Start looking through their profiles and add in them, messaging them, just, you know, saying hi, you know, just getting to know them first. Obviously don't send them the link right away. And you can every single day, if you add a few day, a few new ads, I mean, new friends per day, um, imagine in a year how many uh, friends you're going to have, targeted friends, who's going to go to your link, who's going to go, you know, subscribe to your list and start buying th things from you um, because you're going to provide that value and that inspiration for them on a daily basis. Definitely, I agree 100%. Build that report grow your list so you can leverage most of the internet. You can spend more time with your family and kids and whatever you want to do, you know, if it's watching TV, go ahead and leverage more the internet <laughs> so you can watch more TV. <laughs> That's awesome. But do you have any other tip for us today? Um, another tip for today, work on your uh, mindset. Uh, a lot of us, you yeah. know, a lot of newbies who are just starting out, Forget about all the all the doubts that you have or anything, whatever you have there. Um, just start believing in yourself. And, um, you know, in order to start believing in yourself, what I usually recommend and uh, what I usually say is go out there and listen and watch and learn from a lot of successful people um, who are already, you know, been there where you are, who, who are successful already online or in whatever you want to be successful in and just like listen to a lot of success stories. And that way your belief system is gonna start to shift. You're gonna start believing in yourself. You're gonna st start saying to yourself, like if, if they all succeeded, like why not me? Like I can do it too. So um, just start believing in yourself and start um, believing in whatever you're doing. Because you know, if, you're, if you don't believe you can make sales in something, uh, that's what's going to happen. So just start believing, even though you will have a lot of doubts. Like I had a lot of doubts. Um, and sometimes even now, like I, I'm not like a perfect person, you know, <laughs> I do have doubts like we yeah. all do. So, uh, and we all go through different struggles. 
So just start believing in yourself, start, start uh, shifting your mindset to a mindset of entrepreneur, because, um, you know, if for those people who are, who have never been entrepreneurs or have never had, um, like parents or anybody as entrepreneurs, we're going to learn the mindset of an entrepreneur and uh, just do what they do. Yes, exactly. And definitely like we, we can listen to, we can listen to a lot of, um, success stories and they all struggle. They all have to pass that process. You know, even Kay, Katie, even me, and like a lot of people that are having success is because their struggle first. I didn't have any sales at least for four months straight. And I was like pulling my hair and I was like, but my mindset was straightforward. I said, I visualize myself every day in the end, my outcome. And if I didn't visualize my outcome, I will not be here today. And every day, I like she said, we struggle. We have... Uh, ups and downs, you know, we have a lot of things to do as a mom <laughs> and we're still uh, hustling out there, grinding out there and making it happen and helping others. So if we can do it, you guys can too. Definitely. I will not take more time of Katie right now because baby probably will wake up in any moment <laughs> and probably uh, her baby too. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Katie, for your time. I know it's precious. And I really, really appreciate you guys um, to be here and, and give some nuggets to my people. No problem. It was an honor. I, I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> Hope you guys got a lot of Perfect. value. Yeah, me too. If you got any questions, drop it there. We probably will answer it later. And <laughs> she will have the uh, this be um this video too, so you can uh, con comment. Hi, Primos and Dwayne. I don't see more people here, but thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Katie. Bye.